All right. Uh, today I shall be analyzing waiting for Godot. Uh, I was teaching my students waiting for Godot, uh, which is under theater of absurd. And they were wondering, uh, sir, what is the ideal analysis of this play? What can you tell us about this play? Now, how does Waiting for Godot start? Number one, the setting is absurd. It says a country, a road, a country road, a tree, evening. That is the state directions. And those state directions, directions give us the, the ideal setting of the play. And if you can see the setting, it's, it's absurd, it's weird. It's not logical. A country road, a tree, evening. That is it. There's no further straight directions to that play. Now, as the play starts, we have two characters, and that is Vladimir and Estragon. Estragon is trying to wear a boat, and Vladimir is thinking. Now, Estragon says nothing to be done. As he's struggling with the boat, then Vladimir is thinking of how life is meaningless, how it has no worth, how lost he is. So these are two characters that are speaking to each other but not speaking to each other. This is dialogue, but is it dialogue? How would Vladimir be speaking to someone else and Estragon speaking to someone else? And the play continues like it's in the form of a dialogue, and that is absurd. Now, there's a point where they're wondering what day it is. Is it Saturday? They even ask him what is Saturday. They don't know the meaning of Saturday. They continue asking themselves, or oh, is it Monday or Friday? And if it is a Saturday, and if they were there the day before, then did Godot come? And if Godot came when they were not there, then will Godot come again? So these two characters don't know which specific day that is. Yet, they still go there on a daily basis. But they have no recollections of the names of the days. And that is quite absurd. We are born to know the, name, the names of the days, the names of the weeks, Monday all the way to Sunday. And we are able to differentiate these days with these names. Is there a reason why we give names to days? And as we give them names, do they become different? And how? So these are the, the questions they keep on poking into their reality. Now, they have nothing to do, and that's why they keep on saying nothing to be done. So they are there wasting time and talking about anything. And you know human beings, when they have nothing to do, they talk about anything, politics, weather, relationships, sad things, happy things. So we have two characters doing exactly the same. As they are talking about everything and nothing, they speak about Christianity. Vladimir seems to have a little bit of knowledge of Christianity. But as the discussion starts on Christianity, the discussion ends. I'll continue with this discussion and analysis of Waiting for God in the next video. Thank you.